get cracked when you brace for impact. This is Survival Hikes. Let's set the scene. You're on a trip by train traveling to the oldest and prettiest cities in all of Europe. How fancy. You stop off for the night at the grandest hotel this side of Budapest, where you get a room on the 51st floor. So you hop onto a rickety 100-year-old elevator. But on your way up, the whole thing starts to shake, rattle, and snap. And before you know it, you've been dropped into the middle of a situation. Falling elevator. But fear not, fellow survivors, because Grizzly Griddles is here to stuff your cerebellum with all the tips you need to make it out of a falling elevator alive. Now, before you dive into the hacks, you should know that the odds of being in a free-falling elevator are somewhere between slim to none. Modern elevators got all sorts of fancy doodads and thingamajangs that will slow them down or hold them in place should anything go wrong. But if you find yourself in an out-of-date elevator that's plummeting faster than a plucked pigeon, here's what to do. Step one, do not jump. Now there's a myth out there that says that if you jump into the air right as the elevator hits the ground, you'll be totally safe, like you're hovering in the air just above the impact. But that simply ain't true. Now, Chris ain't here to bore you with the detailed physics equations, but trust me when I say that jumping at the last second won't make you hit the ground any slower. In fact, it'll probably just cause you to pile drive your head into the ceiling of the elevator before being power slammed to the ground too. So don't do it. Instead, keep your feet planted and try step two. Lie down flat on your back in the center of the elevator. Get yourself down as flat as a bolt. Then, protect your head and your face with your arms. This way, when the elevator comes crashing down, the impact will be spread out across your whole body, minimizing the damage to any one particular spot as much as possible. And keeping your arms around your head can help protect you from any falling bits of debris or elevator shaft that might come crashing down on top of you after the landing. Now I ain't gonna lie, young bucks. Taking an elevator down this way won't be pretty and it won't feel good. But when the aim of the game is surviving to see the next day, this right here is your best bet, and you ain't done yet. There's still two more steps to making it out safe. But first, let's take a trust fall into Grizzly Griddles, Riddle in the Middle. Here's today's plummeting puzzler. <clears throat> what do good jokes and elevators have in common? I've got the answer to that one at the end of this video. Now, back to the hacks. So the elevator's no longer moving, but the ordeal ain't done yet. Now, you still gotta get out of there alive. So get ready for step three. Wait for help. Don't try to crawl yourself through an opening in the door. If the elevator is stuck between floors, you might see a crack you can just about squeeze through. But unless there's someone on the other side helping, do not try to wriggle out. Some of the worst elevator accidents can happen when someone tries to get out of an elevator that's stuck between floors. You'll need to have it move while you're halfway in and halfway out. And old Grizz don't gotta tell you that won't end well. So instead, keep yourself calm and call out for help until a rescue unit arrives. Then, step four, get medical attention ASAP. You're gonna be one bruised melon after this fear-inducing free fall. So get to a doctor right away to be checked for bumps, breaks, concussions, or contusions of any kind. Pretty soon, you'll be back to your old self and you can hit the rails to finish off your sightseeing siesta. Now in case that elevator info fell on deaf ears, here's a quick recap. If you find yourself in a falling elevator, do not jump. Instead, lie down flat on the floor and brace for impact. Once the elevator stops, don't try to crawl out by yourself if you're stuck between floors. Await rescue and seek medical attention right away. Well, thanks again for leaving this world for a while to free fall with old Grizzly Griddles. And since you made it out alive, you get to hear the answer to Grizzly Griddles riddle in the middle. <clears throat> what do good jokes and elevators have in common? They work on multiple levels. Hehe, <laughs> get it? Hey. Give that like button a back chop, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more survival secrets. And feel free to leave a comment with a request for whatever situation you want me to tackle next. And remember, real survivors don't go looking for danger, so don't go playing around any old elevators just for fun. Stick to the ones that are fully operational. Until we meet again, this has been the Elevator Defeating Pizza Pie Eating from Beating to Sweeting Steam Heating Control Alt Deleting Cookie Sheeting Host with the Most Who Prefers His Jam with a Side of Toast, which is always happening because life is too short to use spoons or napkins, grizzly griddles, over and out.